I've been at the firm 26 years and I've seen Pro Bono grow from small beginnings to amazing projects in all sorts of sectors all around the world. I first became involved in Sierra Leone in 2010 when I had a three month sabbatical from the firm. I was lucky enough to find a project where I could work as a lawyer on a pro bono basis. I spent three months in Freetown helping capacity build the local legal teams there in the Attorney General's department. And those legal teams were working on some really interesting situations when the government was trying to involve and increase foreign investment into the country. I had a terrific three months in Sierra Leone and I wanted to continue the relationships I'd built. We discussed it with the pro bono team and they saw the opportunity for the firm to build a project here. We've had people from many offices across the world supporting the government with pro bono legal work in some way or another. I really enjoyed it from start to finish. It was very different to the sorts of matters that I've normally done, but I found that all the skills that I had developed by advising my clients across my practice were really powerful in the context. My first impact investment deal was helping the government of Sierra Leone set up a national pharmaceutical procurement unit. The act of going through the process of setting up, getting public and private funding into it and talking to the health service about how they ought to do these things, I'm sure has had a lasting impact on, on the way things are run. We've been there for them in a training capacity and we've helped with policy and indeed a legislative reforms, bringing an international perspective to what they're working through themselves internally. We hope we've been one source of support for the government at a time when it has huge needs as they negotiate those quite complex deals. Whitechapel Legal Advice Clinic is a community-based service in Tower Hamlets for people who otherwise wouldn't have access to legal advice. With Tower Hamlets, it's one of the, one of the poorest boroughs and we, we, when it comes to child poverty in the whole of England. So when we got together with Herbert Smith Free Hills and we were fortunate enough to get this project to work and start, it was just, it was fantastic. The advice we give can make all the difference to our clients. It can be anything from getting some money back, to feeling validated and obtaining remedies against someone who's done them wrong, to just growing in confidence because they know someone's got their back. I think the people I've worked with, I've made a difference. Things that may seem relatively small but are essential to their day-to-day -day lives. I live in Tower Hamlet, so it's really valuable for me to be able to contribute to the community. It's a lifeline for people who can't afford to, to pay for this service, for people who can't afford to go and pay for solicitors. It's had a massive impact on the community in Tower Hamlets. Long may it continue. When I started the firm last year, there's a lot of induction programs that goes on and one of it was an introduction to the different citizenship projects that HSF hosts. Representatives from the school spoke to us about the variety of schemes that are offered at Thomas Buxton. So there's a reading partner scheme, a chess partner scheme. I decided that I'd like to be involved with the reading partner scheme. So I come to Thomas Buxton every Tuesday at lunchtime, I come over and I have a child allocated so I'm reading with the same child every week. But it's not only about reading, it's more about getting to know the child and building this rapport. Children should have a reading partner because reading plays an important part in our life. If you don't know how to read, you can't do maths or English. And if you don't really know English that well, and then it would help you improve with your writing and spelling. It spoke to me when I heard there was a scheme and a lot of the children here are kids whose parents may not have the time to read with them every week. So I thought, if I can fill that gap, that's something I'd really enjoy. Every week when I come back to work after my half an hour of reading with a child, I feel so much happier. The children would think that they've been doing better and that they're progressing and that they are going to do great and that goes down to the partner to help them and show them that they can do it. Prime is a collaborative law firm initiative of which HSF is one of the founding law firms. 
The aims of Prime are basically to provide students from backgrounds which are kind of underrepresented in the legal industry with quality work experience. A lot of students who come from like more disadvantaged backgrounds won't necessarily think that the legal industry is for them. So I think the programme is really important in giving them confidence in their own abilities. It's also really good at improving their soft skills and being able to network and communicate with others. Coming from a state school background myself, I think I just really wanted to encourage them that any kind of preconceptions that they might have about the law aren't necessarily correct. It's great to see the progress from when they first come in quite timid and shy to really confident and like really keen to show off all the skills and knowledge that they've learned. I think it's important that the firm offers pro bono advice and projects. Any law firm should give back to its community. I think it's the best of two worlds, so I can have my work at HSF but also have this opportunity to contribute to the community. Just having something completely different on your mind, um, which helps me put everything into perspective, makes work just more rewarding. To get this kind of support, help, professionalism and expertise for free from, from, from Herbert Smith Freehills is fantastic. Giving my time gives much more impact and has far greater reach than anything else that I could do and it gives me a chance to work with a whole bunch of people across the firm and outside the firm that I wouldn't normally work with. It's such a good way to contribute to the community without having the, you know, the need to find extra time or the weekend. I've really grown as a lawyer through doing work with the clinic and at the same time have grown in confidence through knowing that I can represent disadvantaged people and obtain good remedies for them. For me, it's been part of a tremendous journey which has actually put me in new, different, challenging situations and i found that I've learnt and grown as a practitioner and as an individual through the experience.